Hi everyone, this is Elena and welcome. Uh, today I have a card uh, using the Hero Arts Color Layering Peacock and the Peacock Feather Stencil. So I have everything here. The, uh, the set comes with coordinating uh, dice and as well uh, cubes. Ink cubes that uh, make this color layering, color um, selection very easy. So I'm starting with blue um, card base. I'm using the corner to position that cardstock onto my Misty. And then, because the stencil, the edges are not really, um, uh, they're solid, so I need that cardstock a little bit offset, and the corners help me uh, have that nice offset. As well, if my cardstock moves, I can put the corner back and position it again without uh, making kind of foggy look onto my stencil. Next I'm using um, Deep Ocean ink pad, the hybrid ink pad and um, ink blending tool. So I'm just sponging, um, not sponging but blending that color, that ink onto my card base. I use blue tone, uh, tone on tone so I have like subtle um, look on that. So I put that aside Next, I'm using a uh, white Nina uh, white cardstock panel. So I repeat it here because I messed it up. So I'm starting with um, the body and the head of the peacock. And I stamp it with uh, deep ocean. Next, I'll stamp the tail. And I'll use the emerald green for the tail. It's all the stamps that comes with a guide for stamping. So you can follow those guides how to line up your images as well which colors to use. So next I'm, uh, I'm heat setting this so when I stamp the second layer I don't have the ink kind of bleeding into each other so I have nice and sharp color layering. Just quickly uh, zapping that with my heat gun. Next I'm putting it back in the misty and I'm positioning that second layer making sure it lines up properly with the sides and then uh, picking it up with the uh, lid of the Minimisti. I'm inking the stamp with navy, uh, your arts ink and next I'm doing the same, I'm lining up with the tail and um, kind of making sure it lines up nicely. You will notice that the little dots need to line up with the little dots from the previous layer. So next I'm inking it up with uh, again the navy. And you notice me a couple times I uh, inked the uh, stamp with a Versamark ink then wiped it off with my fingers and then added the color. That is uh, to have better uh, impression, better stamp image, like the ink to be more solid and even. So it doesn't damage the ink pad and it just uh, has more advantage. Next I line up the last um, step of the tail and as well the head. I did them individually one by one so I don't mess it up when I'm picking up one and the other one. Next I stamped it with the lemon yellow ink cube from that uh, ink cube set. Now I'm lining up the feet. I'm stamping them with VersaFine on its black ink. Next I'll just add the sentiment and I uh, choose the wishing you a lovely day and I'm inking it up with uh, the VersaFine on its black. So I'm just heat setting it so I don't smear that black ink because the VersaFine it's um, dries slower than regular ink so I just wanted to be offset the image to be more to the right to the left of my card and have a strip of that uh, card base uh, picking through the right and the bottom sides. So I trim that and next I'm using some foam foam to add dimension. I'm adding that and I'm, going to, I'm using the Misty in order to line up those two layers. 
and I'm adding the half fuse adhesive or Tombow Extreme Adhesive and directly to my card base because it's harder to uh, add it onto the fan film. Next I'm use, I'll use some Ombra glue uh, sequins. I tried to see the comparison with the ocean ones so, but I decided to go with the blue ones. So I'm just adding uh, three on the bottom and two on the top and I'll use Ranger Multi -mate, uh, Matte Medium and some micro tip applicators to adhere those onto my card. So that will be the last step from my card and uh, with that the card will be finished. If you want to mass produce you can use if you have multiple mistes you can have everything composition or just stamp one layer for all cards and then repeat again. So this is the final card. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!